<laughs> Are you a platypus? What noise <laughs> that? was my mustache. Your mustache I'm made a that British noise? guy with a mustache. Good morning guys! Good morning! It's date night tonight and I don't have makeup on because we're gonna start out by going to the salt room and have some salt therapy to kind of clear out everything and then we're gonna get all dressed up and go to date night and these guys are gonna go hang out with Pappy and Cece which are my parents. Are you excited? Yeah! Yeah, y'all gonna have a fun day today? Yeah! We kind of started the day off a little bit rough. Can you tell everyone what happened today, Valor? Today. With the window? Um, it broke. How did it break? My bathroom. Mm, I was trying to knock over my dinosaurs. He was playing and he was trying to knock down his dinosaurs. This is the story I got. And Batman went through the window and broke his bedroom window. And <laughs> thankfully, he only cut like a little bit of his finger. And it wasn't a deep cut, but now we have a broken window. And Batman did it. <coughs> Thanks, Batman. But are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what's important and we learned, right? What are yeah. we not gonna do anymore? Yeah. We're not gonna throw toys towards the window? No. Right. Okay. Or I already play with glass. <laughs> or play with glass. That's the lesson we learned today. Are you gonna go hang out with Cece while Mommy and Daddy go on a date night? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go say hi to Cece. A C C. C C. It's my camera, Mom. Why are you sit in the salt room? It clears out your lungs. Why are you so dirty? Oh, yeah. You're so dirty. Why are you so dirty? Are you gonna go with C C while Mommy and Daddy go on a date? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, they want to see your boo boo. Show me your boo boo. There's the little pinky boo boo, but it's all better now, right? It doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bad, right? Mm -hmm. And what are we not gonna do anymore? Break windows. Yeah, on. we're not gonna break windows anymore. Uh, Get in your car seat. Your are you gonna be good for Cece? Yeah. Okay, have fun with her, okay? okay. I'll miss you. Don't buckle me. Who's gonna buckle you? No one. Oh, you're gonna have to be buckled in Cece's car. No. <laughs> yes. Hi. Sam's putting the car seats in, my mom's car. They just had a grilled cheese. You show Cece your boo-boo? It's got a band-aid on it. What'd you do? Why did you do that? Why did you throw Batman through the window? I did it. He stole in my room. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. No. <laughs> the kids are with my mom and we just finished our salt room experience. We had 45 minutes in the salt room of just relaxing and breathing in the good air. Um, I'll put a picture like right here so you can kind of see. We couldn't take the camera in with us because the way the salt room is designed it could actually hurt the camera um, because it releases negative ions into the air as it's purifying. But it's really relaxing and I feel really good. How about you? Yeah, it was surprisingly relaxing. <clears throat> I think you slept, actually. I didn't really sleep. He pretended like he was sleeping then. He didn't want to talk, he just wanted to relax. Mm, I don't know, maybe I did fall asleep a little bit. But, like, the second I walked into the room, it was like the air changed. It was weird. Yeah, but it's super relaxing. And they have this big assault wall that looks like a mantle. And we decided when we build our own place, instead of a fireplace, we're going to have that salt to hang stockings on and to just purify the air. Be relaxing. It's Himalayan salt. So what it's doing is it takes tell. in the water mo molecules um, that are positively charged and then it releases a negative ion which is closer to nature and that blocks a lot of that like so like all the wi-fi and all the yeah electronic waves in the air i guess it kind of neutralizes those and that's uh, i guess that's why I, I felt a different like a change in the air when i walked in the room it was really cool it felt really good it was like very relaxing and calming yeah we'll definitely not, be doing not, it again 
not in some kind of weird, strange way. There's a groundhog. It was, <laughs> um, it was really, it was like how it should be. It was like how the air should be. We're just so used to like all the, I guess, the electromagnetic radiation and the air constantly that I guess everyone's just used to it. They're desensitized to it. So now we're on to part two of the date night. I've got to find a place where I can go change and put some makeup on and then we're going to a marriage conference. Yeah, thank you. And here the native animal <laughs> is in its habitat, applying its makeup. I'm an animal. And here we see the Nicole in its natural habitat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you a platypus? What noise is that? <laughs> that was my mustache. Your mustache I'm made a that British noise? guy with a mustache. <laughs> That's a horrible noise. Please stop making that noise. <laughs> it's really terrible. <laughs> Freaking me out. We have an hour to kill before our marriage conference, so we're walking around the peddler's mall and looking at stuff. <laughs> We always come back to this toy booth because it's got like millions of toys and it's my favorite because they have cool stuff sometimes. Look, you can be a Grim Reaper. <laughs> Is it heavy? No. It's gonna, I guess you do this. Yeah. <laughs> do this? I really have no idea. Kid, when my parents took me to Puerto Rico, my dad sat on a rock and did this pose, and I sat next to him and did the same exact pose. I wonder where that picture is. I wonder if I can find it. This is a fish bowl. That's also a stuffed unicorn. I, I don't understand. Sam? What? It's a fishbowl, like a real fishbowl, but it's also a stuffed animal. Like, Your the kid kids would, would the fish. carry the fish around. I don't understand. It would be dead. Is yeah, it bad every... that every time we go shopping, like, we just buy stuff for our kids, basically? But everything reminds us of them when we're on date night. You taking a nap? Yeah, I'm so tired. Okay, I'll wake you up when it's time to go to the conference. We just finished up the marriage conference and it was a really good first night. We had a great time. So we're about to go pick up our children and we're first eating some spicy sushi and some soup. So thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.